Hi, I'm Jeremy, pastor of Forest Hills Community Church, and currently we're talking about relationships. Relationships of all kinds, married people, single people, dating people, and people who are just downright confused. And what we're doing right now is we want to talk about the majority of people who make up Forest Hills Community Church, which is single people. Now, single people are pretty unique, and in fact, they don't stay single very long. In fact, they don't like it, and they do everything they can to date and mate and do everything they can to get married as soon as possible. This brings with it a lot of baggage challenges, as well as a lot of heartbreak. What we want to do is save you from this. More importantly, Jesus wants to save you from making a lot of mistakes and hurting yourself and hurting a spouse, and God forbid, hurting somebody else in the process. So at Forest Hills Community Church, God has given us some pretty standard um, ideas or better yet, recommendations for dating. How to date in a way that's not only going to help you find that perfect mate, but protect you in the process of finding that mate. And there's six simple steps that we want to talk about. One, date slowly. You don't need to run off right after you get out of high school, right when you turn 16, right when you get out of college, right whenever, and go off and date. It's okay to be single. There is nothing wrong with it. It's a very prosperous time in your life. Find who you are, enjoy who you are by yourself before you run off and find hook up with somebody else who tries to define you for you. Date slowly, be slow to date. Second of all, speed date. What I mean by that, you all know what speed dating is. You go, you sit down, you find somebody. If you don't have nothing in common, you don't waste your time or energy, you get up and move on. That's a great way to date. Sit down with somebody, find out who they are, where are they going, how are they going to get there, and what role you're going to play in the process. If you got some guy who has no idea what he's going to do, has no money in his bank account, and is a complete dodo bird, don't waste your time and emotions, ladies. Move on. Get out of there ASAP. He's not going to change. Don't waste your emotions, don't waste your hormones, don't waste your money or your heart on this guy. Same thing for the guys. If the girl's got no interest in going anywhere with you, forget about it. Move on. Save your stuff. Date slowly, date fast. Second of all, second part of that process is date privately. Date in a way that nobody knows that you're dating. So many people get all makey outy in public. They run around, I got a new boyfriend, I got a new boyfriend. They put it up on their MySpace, they put it up on their Facebook, they blog about it, they're a new boyfriend for the minute, and they act like they're on the verge of getting engaged when they don't even know the guy's middle name. What's that all about? Slow down and date privately. Go out to eat, come to Martha's Bakery, sit down and get a cupcake and a cup of coffee, talk to each other, just one-on-one. -on -one. Don't date privately inside your apartment or inside of a movie theater. That's a horrible place to date. But date privately in a way that only involves you two. So God forbid it doesn't work out. There's not all that, again, emotional baggage, heartache, despair, and you're not setting yourself up only for failure. Thirdly, while you're supposed to date privately, you're also supposed to date publicly and again the sense that you don't date only in your apartment room. You don't date only online. You date in a public area where your hormones cannot get the better of you. Listen, if the hormones are the leading force in your relationship, it ain't never gonna work. Because when you get married, as your relationship continues to, you're not gonna be getting all makey outy the entire time. You're gonna have to have more than that to talk about and to do. So it's good to date publicly, out in the open, at again, a great place like Martha's, or over a nice restaurant, not McDonald's, and find out who each other are. Focus on the things that matter, not the things that don't, like how well they make out with you. Okay, don't do that. Date slowly, speed date, date privately, date publicly. On top of that, date exclusively. In other words, what I mean by that is don't invite everybody into your relationship. When you get married, which is the ultimate goal of every dating relationship, it's not going to be you and everybody else. It's going to be you and that other person, alone, having to go through life. Their, their opinion matters and how you react to that person matters. Get the only focus on you two. Don't invite everybody else into your relationship. Don't invite unwarranted advice into your relationship. And then number six, probably the most important thing, is date corporately. Yes, it only matters between you and the guy or you and the girl, who, who you are and dating each other. That's important. But at the same time, though, your spiritual leaders, your mom, your dad, your best friend, people who know you the best and want the best for you, you want to get their advice. You want to invite them into your dating relationship. Because again, love is a crazy thing. Emotions are a crazy thing. And they can easily take control of your mind and your heart and everything and your judgment in the process. And you don't need that. 
so many people, I'm in love, I'm in love, and really they're not, they're just, they're just hot and ready to go. And in the process, they're ignoring these big, huge warning signs. The guy's a deadbeat. The guy lives with his mom. The guy's got no job. The guy, I, guy always has money, but he doesn't have a job. <laughs> Maybe he's a drug dealer, whatever, who knows? But you're gonna ignore these things. And guys, you're gonna ignore the fact that the girl has a whole lot of guy friends and no girlfriends. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's nice. She, she's great mixing with other cultures and people. No, she's bad. Walk away from her, man. And your buddies your mom, your dad, your spiritual advisor, your pastor are gonna see these warning flags, they're gonna bring it to your attention because they love you, not that they wanna put you in a box or keep you single forever. Again, dating can be a really ugly mess, but it's vital to finding that special somebody that God has preordained for you, your spouse. So again, consider these six simple steps. Date slowly, date fast. Date, pub date privately, date publicly date exclusively and date corporately. And by doing so, you're going to ensure and set yourself up for a great future. For Hills Community Church, we love you and we want to help you find that perfect mate that Jesus has designed just for you.